at Photon Automation, we have a tagline that says advanced manufacturing made simple. And really what we do at Photon is take this amazing technology, this very complex technology involving laser systems, uh, vision systems, and really distill it down into a system that's very easy to use, it's very easy to maintain, and its average operator can come up to that system, understand how it works. We like to take the technology and make it very simple. My name is William Huffman, and I'm CEO of Photon Automation. Photon Automation is a developer of special equipment, uh, special purpose equipment. These are systems that do um, a variety of advanced manufacturing tasks. It's the type of equipment you can't just go buy cookie cutter, off the shelf pieces of equipment. These are custom designed machines that uh, our engineering group uh, will, will, will solve the problem uh, through design. And as you can see behind me, a lot of similarity in the machine bases, but each one of those systems does a, a different function. So these are truly special purpose uh, machines. Well, our company history goes back to 2000. Uh, the three owners of the company used to work for a company called Advanced Automation Technologies. That company was uh, going under and we were sitting in my office on the, the last day, so to speak, and decided rather than get uh, real jobs, we'd start a, a company. And so we started Photon Automation back in uh, March of 2000. And uh, within a week of forming the company, we had an order for five laser machines from Becton Dickinson Pharmaceutical. So we sort of hit the ground running. Uh, I chose Herco as a machine tool company to work with a long time ago, uh, back when I worked at Indiana University Medical Center as Associate Director of Clinical Engineering. Uh, one of the projects we were working on required uh, really a contoured uh, machining process. It was very difficult to do on conventional equipment, such as a Bridgeport type of machine. Uh, so we got connected with the um, Mechanical Engineering Technology Department at IUPUI. They had a, an old Herco KMB-1 and uh, we were able to rent some time on that system. Uh, immediately, I was uh, uh, excited about uh, getting a Herco for myself one day. And uh, in fact, in 1985, I purchased my first two KMB-1s. Uh, they were used at the time, but uh, they made all the difference uh, going from conventional machining where you'd have to use a boring tool to cut out a, a circular cutout in a piece of material. I could just program in a circle and it was just made my life so much easier. So right now, Photon Automation has five Herco machines, uh, four machining centers, and a lathe. And those uh, we're using those systems to make all the parts for the equipment that we build. So these are parts that are uh, anywhere from a very uh, tiny and delicate laser hold down foot, uh, all the way up to brackets and, and components for holding cameras, uh, laser del beam delivery optics, all sorts of different components for, for the machines that we build. Uh, when we're looking for people to run our CNC equipment, uh, we're looking for people that um, know how to read prints, that know how to um, uh, interpret the, the prints. But what makes the Herco control uh, so nice is you don't have to bring somebody in that's an expert at G-code or anything like that. They just need to understand basic machining principles. Uh, the control is easy enough to use that uh, you can put somebody in front of it that's had some experience on a conventional uh, piece of equipment and put them in front of the conversational control and it just becomes relatively obvious within a short period of time uh, what commands they need to uh, type into the system to be able to make a part. My name is Tom Hassis. I'm a machine operator, programmer, and toolmaker here at Photon Automation. Well, Herco is a, a pretty easy machine to learn. I came from a background of another conversational controller. And I would say the features that really help me are the graphics, uh, being able to edit, being able to capture and maneuver the uh, 3D isometric drawings to flip it and, and kind of get different perspectives. You can even do that while the machine is running. One of the features I use quite a bit is the interrupt cycle. If I hear something doesn't sound quite right, or if I think of a drill or end mills getting dull, I'll hit the interrupt. So I can take a look inside and see, verify that everything is okay. Well, Photon Automation has uh, developed some laser technology that's really revolutionary. Uh, we got a patent back in 2015 for our pulse spread technology, which is a novel way of delivering laser energy to a, a part that's being welded. Uh, we're able to uh, stitch weld the 
two pieces of material together. But the thing that makes it novel is as we move the laser beam with very high speed mirrors, we can change the power of the laser. So I see the future of photon automation really taking that technology to the next level. Uh, we've seen a lot of demand in the electrical vehicle space, the battery space. And so we believe that our equipment in the future will incorporate our laser technology that we've developed, but go after markets that are emerging, such as EVs and, uh, and battery technology. Thank you.